Welcome back to Why Not Outdoors. Uh, we get to view an exciting video today. Me and my dad actually got to go on a mountain goat hunt this year, which in Wyoming is a once in a lifetime tag, which I was out of the point something percent able to draw. And I'm so fortunate uh, that I got to go on this hunt and just come watch us. Uh, we get a little bit of swimming, do a little bit of fishing in in the early season, and then we get to go on the actual hunt and I'll take you through that and I hope you enjoy. If there's one thing that I could take away from this trip up to Copper Lake scouting, it'd be that it has some of the most beautiful country in the world, but at the same time, it's also some of the most dangerous and steep country I've ever been on. As you can see, I was here skiing down with my boots down on a glacier. Well, here I am getting some of my hunting stuff together. Getting ready for the big hunt. If you're wondering if I can put this around, if you're wondering why I'm wearing golf attire, it's because I just got back from a golf tournament, and it is 10 o'clock, and I'm leaving tomorrow. Should I bring like a sweatshirt and my jacket? What? Are you getting ready? ready? Yep. Ready to go. <laughs> ready to get out. First day of hunting goats. spotted the first goat. One of the best parts about hunting trips like this is sitting around the campfire with some of your best people in your life and just telling stories and having a good time after a long hard day of just grit and work and it's just amazing how a fire and some hot dogs can bring people together and just have a good time. come up with a little bit of an idea of where the, all the goats were hanging. Uh, we spotted about 12 goats, but they were off 15 miles away. So we came up with a game plan to go head up early in the morning and go check out a new basin, with, which hopefully would hold some new goats. Day two. Thing. Nothing within five miles. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see one. An 
After about an hour four-wheeler ride and a few miles in, me and my dad and Craig picked up over this hill and we were glassing this huge basin and I spotted a mountain goat right there. You can see right next to the ride of the snow and we pulled up the spotting scope on it and we could tell that it was a billy and my dad and I decided that we would give it a shot and go after him. And as you can see through this huge basin, we didn't really want to drop straight down. So my dad and I came up with a game plan to walk all the way around and go see if we could get a stock on this goat. point in the hunt my dad and I were able to sneak up on this mountain goat and as you could see uh, we were actually 80 something yards away from this goat and the bad part is is there was a cliff right on the other side where this goat was at so we decided that it wouldn't be worth shooting this goat right here and have it fall off a cliff where we can't get it so we had to wait it out The goat had moved off to the left where we couldn't see it, so it was time for us to move and figure out where this goat was at. And we lost him for a little bit, but as you'll see in a sec, I eventually find him right over the top of us. It's hard to tell at this point in the hunt is the goat actually spotted us and started running out on the shale rock. And so I tried to make my way around this tree and unfortunately my dad and I weren't able to get the camera on the actual shot, but he stopped out about 140 yards and I was able to drop him right in his tracks. And man, what an experience. In one shot. We're trying to get down there and get his hands on his goat. How many yards away? 30? 150. We gotta get all the way to the top of that mountain over there and then down. All right, Carter's about on his goat. Almost on an edge. 
How is he? Good. Just don't roll it, man. You might go off. It's about six. Out of 930. 101. 101. Nasty yeah. spot. Couldn't thing was too big to drag it to a flat spot. So Carter wants to have the fun of seeing what this goat would have done if it had kept falling. We'll see where it goes. So, ready, Swanson? Bit of weight. Yeah. They're up above that snow to the right. Over there. Came across the whole ash. This is hard. Wow. That knife's not the best knife. I know. Throw some on the... See up on the fire? Right there to try it out. Mm-hmm. Seems like it's pretty good. Carter, what are you making? Mountain goat tenderloin steak over the fire. After eating some of those amazing tenderloin steaks over the fire, we just chilled out the rest of the night, you know, just had a little bit of fun, told some stories, and then went to bed and woke up about nine o'clock the next morning and headed home.
I just want to say thanks again for watching and I want to give a huge thanks to my dad and Craig and especially just God for allowing me to draw that tag and keeping us safe during the whole hunt and I just also want to thank my grandpa for doing the taxidermy with me. So we finally got him back and I hope to catch you guys on the next video and thanks for joining me on my once in a lifetime mountain go hunt. Thank you.